What does success taste like? Hopefully like uh, Haribo fizzy cola bottles. That's a great flavor. <laughs> Hello humans, my name is Comedian, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Continuing my D2 reaction series today, D2, Agus D, Sugar, cute little baby faced resting BTS boy Sugar, as we all know and love him. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see my whole reaction series to this EP. Check out my Patreon uh, for more fun BTS reactions. I've got Run BTS and Bon Voyage reactions on there, priced very competitively against the market, I think. Anyway, obviously send me your money, send me your f money. But you can do that in a second. Right now, we're going to watch Burn It Together and have a lovely grand old time. Hopefully this is slightly more cheery than 28. It sounds like it's going to be an absolute heater, a banger. Hopefully not too hot, because the AC in my apartment is cranked up right now for filming. Cranked up as in off. Quick aside, it's one of those things, isn't it? No one can agree on AC terminology. When somebody says to you, can you turn up the AC? You're like, should I turn up the, the, the coldness? Should I turn up the airness? Or, or should I turn up as in put the heat higher? Should I, should I make it colder in here? Should I make it hotter in it? There's no agreed AC terminology. And ACs have been around for a while. It's a shambles. Sort it out, people. Oh, I like these vocals. Max. I never heard of Max before, but I like it. Ooh, how Linkin Parky. Linkin Park, the song in my brain. Oh my god, this really is Linkin Parky. This is like new metal. I like it. All right. Burn the voice inside me. Well, that's a Linkin Park title if I've heard one. I want, I want it burnt. Get it burnt. Okay, I like this album very much represents themes of emotional development, maturity, also being mean to people who talk crap to you, all of that stuff, all that adult stuff. But this is impressive, like, like the self-awareness you need to have to write lyrics like this. A lot of people have this kind of self-awareness, but how many people, a lot of people see the ego as being a fundamental part to being an artist. So a lot of artists, I think, aren't willing to kind of put down themselves in their own content. Not like me, I put down myself and my content so much, I get comments saying, don't put your content down. It makes me not want to watch it, which is, you know, kind of a mind fuck. I mean, like, self-deprecating humor is all I have. Really, but anyway, I respect. I respect this line. <laughs> respect you, line. What does success taste like? Hopefully, like uh, Haribo fizzy cola bottles. That's a great flavor. Ooh, not much difference. That's such an interesting line to follow that up with. Ah, oh, he's always one upping it is the past me was full of like bitterness, insecurity, and jealousy. And now there's not much difference. It's like saying, I can still see that's wrong, but I'm not immune to it. It's like, you know, I am much more emotionally mature now, which isn't maybe much compared to my old standards, maybe a low bar to clear, but I am, you know, and now I try not to spend my life on Reddit or, you know, getting into internet arguments for no reason, which is just, you know, an existential expression of my own misery and, and social isolation, insularity, lack of touch with the world. So for the most part, I don't do any of that stuff. But it's not like I never find myself doing that, being like, why am I writing out this this angry comment? Like what like as you get older you can you can identify problematic behavior patterns better and you can try and avoid them, but you're not gonna be immune to them. I'm sure that's exactly what Sugar's talking about. Reddit comments. Ooh, that's a hard lyric. Ooh, that bar bites. That bar's got teeth. You gotta stroke the spine of that bar to get it to stop rustling around. Harry Potter reference, I'm full of them. There might only be ashes left behind, and it might be the same. As in, I might already be ash. I might already be just burnt anger. I like it. I can't get over this. Like, I like this, but it is very Linkin Parky. Not necessarily a butt needed. Like, I feel like everyone has a stage. 
you know, all humans do, even Victorians, even cavemen. You, you like Linkin Park as a teenager. Then you turn 20 or maybe even a bit younger and you're like, shit, Linkin Park. I can't believe I used to enjoy that crap. What a load of shit. You know, because it's pretension and, and everything's important back then. And it's important not to like, you know, and it's important to feel like you're maturing and getting better tastes. And then you get older enough again to be like, well, that's ridiculous. Like that music was perfect for me at the time. And you listen to it again and you're like, yeah, this is still great music. is isn't maybe quite sum up my uh, current experience. I don't know if I feel like screaming, I've given up, whilst I'm eating a key lime chobani yogurt in the morning. But you know, but that is still very good music. I wonder what he means by voice inside me. Does he just mean like literally the subconscious or does he mean like the voice that tells you to achieve like leading on from his other other song 28 my dirty linen or hatred abhorrence it's like saying i want to burn all the negative parts of me interesting being forced to be passionate all right Somebody told me to stick with Zati Falani for these uh, videos because the translation is better. I, I feel like this translation isn't great. Or I'm a fool. Or both. I'm missing some context here. Watch out for the words original resolution. I mean, as a video editor, I'm just thinking about oh, a native resolution filmed in 4K, uploaded in 1080. That's obviously not what he's going for. And yes, I know Dorset Bang Tan, but you know, I can't do Dorset Bang Tan and a lyric video and the music at the same time. My brain doesn't work that way. But yeah, if there's any stuff that is translated poorly, then that's where you can come in. Let me know in the comments. I love engaging with you guys. Start the fire as in burn any part of you, burn your past, burn your present. Okay, okay, here we go. Some more context. The choice and decision are always yours. Don't forget that giving up boldly also takes courage. Yeah. Wow. This is like, I love this side of him. Like, how many rap songs say this? Giving up takes courage. Yeah, it does. In a world where everyone feels pressure to succeed always, at all times, indefinitely, sometimes giving up can take courage to be like, I can't do that right now. That's what I tell myself when I'm like, I can't edit this video right now. I'm going to have a lie down. And then I lie on the couch and I'm like, by God, I'm brave. As I pull the blanket over my head. I'm so brave. Thank you, sugar. Thank you for saying that. Falling out your window. Someone in the mirror that you don't know. And everything was love this guy's hair. I'd like to do that. I can do this bit. That bit's fine. This bit, ooh, that's going to be a stretch these days. So yeah, with the last few lyrics, I wonder if the voice inside me is the voice that pushes you to like, the drive to keep doing stuff, even when you maybe deep down just want to have a lie down, that maybe you just want to break, that maybe sometimes you torture yourself. We're thinking, I'm not working hard enough, I'm not doing hard enough, I gotta keep going, keep the going, keep going. Yeah, 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 run it. I run it, run it, run it. Ah! Cool. That was a fascinating um, switch up, really. Like I said, very, very like new metal, Linkin Park esque. Definitely feel like I'm missing a little bit of context with this song. I'd love for you guys to help fill me in on this, spark a conversation in the comments, a wholesome debate, friend. Welcome to a BTS book club. But some of the themes in there were exquisite. Like him talking about it being brave to give up is, oh, mwah. like, don't really think I've ever heard that lyric in a song before. Thanks, sugar. Yeah, this album is pretty great so far. Uh, that, is, that, is that a controversial opinion? Was I the first one to get that headline out? This just in, Agastiz D2, good album. Read all about it. But yeah, I'm very much enjoying this reaction series. I hope you guys are too. If you are, then do make sure you are subscribed so you can see them as they come out on release day. The release day extravaganza. And if you want to see them the day before release day, I upload basically 99% of my videos a day early on Patreon for everyone to watch, as well as run BTS, Bon Voyage reactions. And on Thursdays, my patrons get to pick and vote for a, a video I will react to that week, as well as also so helping keep the lights on. Oh, I left the lights on. God damn it. I normally try and turn the lights over my head off because because if I don't, then I get down with shadows and I'm like, hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> ah, well, a bit late now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do stick around. Until next time, bye, bye, bye. 
And remember, did you enjoy Distracted Turn It? Well, you see that subscribe button, turn it on.